What is up, everybody? Top five sports games of all time. Number five, uh, we have Tony Hawk Underground 2, the World Destruction Tour. You guys know what it is. If you remember playing this game, it was actually my favorite Tony Hawk game. Most people say Pro Skater, um, but this one is just because of the stupid stuff going on with uh, Team Bam and all those guys. Obviously, the quirky jokes, the uh, the farts, the laughs, the hitting each other in the nuts, all that stuff, the aliens, all the stuff we know that from the Tony Hawk series was just amplified. It was really the comedy factor that really will sell you. There's obviously tons of replay value because it's a Tony Hawk pro skater game. You could just roam around for hours just doing stupid tricks and not even realize you're wasting that much time. Um, but And also the fact that there were like actual famous people from the TV show that you could relate to, that you could watch on TV and then play them in the game was also really cool. Uh, for being like 9 or 10 years old playing this game. Um, uh, I had it on the PS2. I think that was the only console it was on. I don't remember if it was on the other consoles or not. Uh, but it was very fun. Uh, just, just so much stupid shit. Like, look at this. Like, I can't even stop laughing looking at this trailer again. Like, just so much stuff. You can play like Ben Franklin. Obviously, ton of Easter eggs, as every Tony Hawk game has. And it was just a very, very memorable, enjoyable game. On to number four. Now, some of you guys might be a little surprised. Wii Sports is at number four, by the way. Uh, Wii Sports is very revolutionary. One of the first, actually the first game actually ever, I believe, I'll just say it's the first sports game ever to like not actually have to push a controller. You just use a, you know, your wrist motion, your hand motion, and all that. It was very fun. It actually mainstreamed video gaming to adults because it was mainly at that time video games were just, you know, from basically infancy all the way up to, you know, your 20s. And then after that, you know, you get a family. You can't play them anymore. <laughs> That's how people thought. But this made it to where video games were cool for even your, you know, you can see here in the trailer, your parents to play, your grandparents to play. Uh, it was fun. It was easy. That's the main thing. It was easy and suitable for all ages. And that's what really sold people. Actually, it sold me. I actually bought a Wii just to get this fucking game. I mean, that's that's pretty crazy. Uh, to think about, I think most Nintendo fans actually forget about it. They gloss over this game. You don't hear, you don't see it on many top ten lists for Nintendo games. I think it should be on the top ten Nintendo games list because it was just such a well made. It was, it was basic, but it was really good. It really was, uh, not just as a sports game, but as a game in general. It, it really, it really changed the culture of of gaming. So many people bought a Nintendo. Actually, Nintendo was ahead of sales for a while because of this game, really. If you go back and look at the uh, history, this game was just really revolutionary. On to number three, enough rambling. On to number three, and we have FIFA 09. Now, FIFA 09, you could pick any FIFA. I picked 09 because it was probably, to me, my favorite and the most balanced out of all the FIFAs, a lot of people go back and say, man, this game was really, really good. Look at the trailer. Even in the trailer, the, the game's more balanced than the game actually is now. The goalies actually save shots in the trailer. Wow. That's incredible. Um, the, defense, the defensive players actually play defense in the trailer. That's incredible. Um, but no, they actually... The, the biggest thing that came from this game was Mutt. Or, fo or Foot. Foot. FIFA Ultimate Team and... EA Sports has made millions of dollars just off of FIFA Ultimate Team and Madden Ultimate Team alone. And without Ultimate Team... Which obviously started from this game. I don't know if there would be a FIFA or Madden YouTube at all. I, I don't know. I don't know if the community would be as as grown as it has, or grown as much as it has, because Ultimate Team has made, have paved such a way for so many YouTubers to make revenue and put out enjoyable and entertaining content, uh, such as KSI, such as Anto the Ball, such as Colin Berger, such as Nepenthes, etc. Um, you know, for FIFA and Madden, because Ultimate Team is just such a great idea. EA Sports actually, this is back in the heyday of EA Sports, before they became the, you know, everybody ganging up and hating them. This is when they were actually a good company and making solid content every single year, in my opinion. So, yes, on to number two. And uh, um, at number two, we have NBA Street Volume 2. Now, if you don't remember this game, I don't know where you were. Everybody could play this game. It made white guys love basketball. It made them feel this was their escape. You know, they go to their local gym, they can't do much, and they go play NBA Street. They feel like Michael Jordan. This game was the shit. I mean, anybody could pick up and play. I've got friends who have never picked up a basketball floor, but they have this game. This game probably should be number one, but you'll see why it is in a second. Um, but this game definitely. I mean, my definitely the best basketball game you will ever play because of the reason I mentioned. Anyone can play it. It is just so much fun to embarrass people whenever you do your little cross move. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, look at this stuff. Shaq is kicking it off his foot. You've got to buy it. Um, I've been screaming for years for an HD remake of this game, and they have not done it yet. Please do it for the Xbox One. Dear God, EA Sports, save your soul. 
and do it. Just do it. An HD remake, please. And at number one, of course, if you know me, it is Madden. It's Madden 05. Sorry about the cutout. Uh, anyway, this game is the best to me. Most people say both 04. 05 is the best to me because of Fear the D, the, uh, yeah, Fear the D, yes, ha, ha, ha. Um, but, um, the hit sticks. The hit stick changed Madden forever. It's still in the game today, and it's just a perfect movement to, you know, flip the stick down and knock the hell out of your friend and just, like, talk shit. It was the best movement ever. It actually made defense feel like, feel like you're actually playing defense for once in Madden. Because before that, it was just all Michael Vick run up the sideline. You can't do nothing about it. Now defense actually felt like it had a little bit of life left, uh, and or not life left, but actually gave it some rejuvenation and made it feel like realistic defense, and you could actually change the game and the culture of the game with your defense. Leave a comment down below what do you think uh, your top five is or whatever. Like the video if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. As always, Watch Cast 23 signing out. See you guys next time.